Hey guys, how's it going? Christian back here, another pickup video. Uh, sorry for the wait guys, but I can't make a video if I don't have anything, right? So, uh, I actually found a lot of stuff though. Um, yeah, I'm starting to use eBay now. I did a trade with a co-worker, and my wife found a bunch of Super Nintendo games on a wanted ad. And it's really rare to find anything in this town, so she jumped right on it, and there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, so I'm going to get into that first, and yeah, so I'm just going to name out the Super Nintendo games here. Some of them are in decent shape, uh, some of them are in really good shape, and then there's some like this that are just like, uh, why do you have to do that? So there's Trotlers, Trotlers for the Super Nintendo, and what I mean, like, look at this, like, why would you have to write on that? But I'm pretty sure you could get that off, so yeah, got that. We got SimCity. We got Wayne's World. Pop this in, and uh, I thought it would be okay, but I heard is real crap. So uh, just thought, you know, let's see what it is. Yeah, it's not good. It's uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of funny because everything you get, like when you get hit, there's always something from the movie. Yeah, when he gets hit, he goes not. <laughs> it's it's so funny. I don't know why I'm laughing about it, but it's pretty funny. So yeah, Wayne's World. Um, just gotta. Clean that up a little bit. Uh, what else we got here? We got Populous. I haven't tried this one. Well, I popped it in. Uh, I, I don't know. It looks like a SimCity type game. But yeah, so we got that. Um, a game I was really, really happy to play. Um, Magic Sword. I played it once on uh, Xbox Live Arcade, I think it was. And uh, yeah, so I played that. It was really good. And uh, that great game, I don't think you can really die in that one. But this one's a little tougher. So, yeah, so this one, like it, it's really good. Uh, somebody's name's on the back. Take that off, <laughs> somehow. Uh, we got Batman Forever. I have Batman Forever on the Genesis. I played it on both systems, and they're not that great. Uh, I, I get what they're trying to do. You know, they're trying to do, they're trying to do the old Mortal Kombat thing, you know, with realism, and uh, the controls are just kind of wonky, so, yeah, got that. Uh, don't worry, the good games are coming. Uh, this is not one of them. <laughs> uh, Mohawk and head, Mohawk and headphone jack. Um, this dude, I guess his name is Mohawk because he's got a mohawk, and uh, it's really crazy. Like it's a lot of flashing lights. Like if you're, I don't know, guys, had a seizure before, don't play it because uh, you might have another one. But yeah, anyways, he's, uh, I don't know, he looks like a Sonic clone almost, because it's really, really fast-paced, and, like, when you press down and run, you actually do a spin ball thing. Uh, anyways, I played it for, like, ten minutes. I couldn't play it anymore. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Got that. Uh, Arcana. Um, Chad Bailey says this is a pretty good RPG. Uh, looks okay. Not bad. I popped it in for a little bit, um... I've been playing a lot of RPGs lately, so uh, I'll try that one out maybe later. We got Wing Commander. Um, I played it for a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I even lost that the like the first mission, so it's not for me. We got Act Razor. Act Razor, yeah. Still see some more writing on there. I'm pretty sure you can get that off, but the back is nice. Uh, somebody engraved TV on it. That's cool. Anyway, yeah, I didn't even notice that before. So, Act Razor. Uh, uh, I got a faceless game. I didn't know what the hell it was. Like, there's nothing on there. It's always kind of neat to find out. Like, that's my first faceless game. Except for, no, actually, I had an N64 game that was GoldenEye. And that was pretty cool. But, uh, anyway, uh, so this one is Wario's Woods. Uh, pretty cool puzzle game. Not bad. Now, these are the two games that made me kind of stop and go, like, oh, holy crap, you gotta buy this. So, uh, I don't know. I think they're both kind of equally as rare or as expensive, I guess, but she's paid 60 bucks for this whole lot, and I know some of these go for at least that. So, we got Secret of Mana, which I was playing for a little bit, and it's friggin' good. Like, this is when, like, Squaresoft was at its height, and it's, I don't know, it's so goddamn good. So, yeah, I'm, that's... I'm really stoked to have that in my collection. Uh, 
yeah, so, <laughs> got that. And the game, I played right to the last, uh, boss, and I got smoked. Um, Pocky and Rocky. Uh, it's like a shmup, I guess, but you got more, I don't know, it's like a sm shmup, yeah. But yeah, it's a really good game, um, actually stoked to have this in my collection, because I'm going to be playing it, like, almost all the time. But yeah, so I got that, uh, those are Super Nintendo games, um, I could probably just end it here, but I'm not going to, because I got more stuff. I went to, well, my work, so I, my co-worker had, I don't know, he's gone to his big PlayStation 3 kick, and he's been looking for Bayonetta. In our town, it's nowhere to be found, and he doesn't have a car, so he can't drive down to south. So, he, I had it, and, uh, it was still sealed, I didn't even open it, because I, I had it on the Xbox 360. And I beat it on that, and I was, I don't know what I was waiting for, I guess. So I just kept it sealed, and uh, he asked me if I could trade him stuff, and I was like, yeah, whatever you want to trade, give me an offer. And he offered me three Wii games, and I totally took it. So the Wii games are, um, two of them aren't in the actual case, they're in the black cases. And the other one's in this original case. But anyways, they're complete, got the manual, whatever. Uh, so he got me, uh, traded me, rather. SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1. We got The Art of Fighting, Baseball Stars 2, Burning Fight, Fatal Fury, King of Monsters, Metal Slug, just a whole bunch of good stuff in here. Um, yeah. Shock Troopers, I hear that's pretty good. Uh, my good friend Ness Nate said it was really good. Or it was rare. He said something about it. Anyways, yeah. Check out Ness Nate. Uh, yeah, also, we got the King of Fighters collection, the Orochi Saga. Uh, yeah, we got King of Fighters 97, 98, 96, 94, 95. A lot of King of Fighters in here. And King of Fighters is a pretty good fighter. Like, I love it. That's why they call it the King of Fighters. Come on. And a game that I actually... This is the same game I actually had. And uh, I just sold it to him. And I got it back in my collection now. Uh, Tatsunoku vs. Capcom. Really, really good. Any Capcom vs. game is worth a pickup. Like, it's, it's really good. Um, yeah, I think it's, I don't know, I'm, I might get hate for this, but I think this is better than the Marvel, the Marvel vs. Capcom games. <laughs> don't kill me, guys. But anyways, yeah, I got those three for the trade of Bayonetta. And, uh, yeah, so now, um, I'm gonna get into the stuff that I bought on eBay, which is kind of exciting for me, like, I never really bought anything from eBay, so, I'll just get into the stuff that I got. Um, I'm a big, big fan of Akira Toriyama, his art style, everything about this guy, like, he made Dragon Ball Z and all this stuff, so, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm playing Chrono Trigger, which he did the arts for, and, uh, I wanted to get into more of this stuff, so I went on eBay and just started looking for RPGs that he helped create or design or whatever, anything that has Akira Toriyama on it, I was looking at. So, there's a game that I wanted for a long time, and, uh, yeah, the same co-worker I traded those games to, he had the game and I wanted to buy it, and he told me he would only get rid of it for 50 bucks. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go on eBay, just check it out. Uh, so, it was like 20 bucks, so I picked it up there, it's Dragon Quest VIII, uh, it's complete, everything's perfect in it got the demo for Final Fantasy 12. got the game there, it's perfect, uh, I couldn't be happier, couldn't be happier about this, so I'm really, really looking forward to play this, so, Dragon Quest 8, and, uh, yeah, also we got Dragon Quest 9 for the DS, it's sealed, it was 10 bucks, and I thought that was an amazing deal, so I, you know, picked that one up too, so two Dragon Quest games, and, uh, actually my first purchase on eBay was this, um, yeah, uh, sorry, I got kind of dazed in it. Yeah. Anywho, my first purchase ever, uh, was the N64 game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know why I'm waiting for so long. I'm stalling, okay? I'm sorry. Anyway, so for the S64, it's a game that I wanted for a long time. I was looking for it loose, and they're kind of, you know, I don't know, 20 bucks, I guess some, some of them were. I was just looking for the Canadian shippers. And uh, then I found one that's box complete. 
and everything for 30 34 34 bucks and uh that was for free shipping and it came with everything so yeah i'm just gonna show it to you now uh Star Fox 64, there's some little wear here, but other than that, it's in immaculate condition. So happy to have it. It's one of my favorite franchises of all time. Star Fox was so, so, so freaking good. Um, happy to have this. Yeah, the Rumble Pack's in there. We've got everything in there. The uh, cart's in good shape. Uh, there's just some writing on it. Doesn't really bug me much. Uh, yeah, so, and it's the first time I got a Rumble Pack. Uh, recently, anyways, I had it when I was a kid, and I remember they sucked a lot of batteries. But anyway, uh, that is all my stuff. Actually, um, uh, maybe worth the wait? I don't know. Uh, you tell me. What is the best game that I picked up here on this video? Um, do you have any of these games? Did you try them out? Just, yeah, shoot the shit, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, now that I'm using eBay, you get more stuff. Hey, that'd be good. Okay, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching. See you later. I don't know why I do this. Do I salute? No, I just... Bye. That's all I wave. Hey, bye, bye. Anyway, see you guys later.